Okay, back to the research stream. Can I play as Maria here? Or do I have to unlock her? I think I have to unlock her. So they could do FMV, but this this kind of aesthetic, uh, like I said, it's more it's closer to Ninja Guy down on the super on the NES. So it's just you know more traditional assets, more traditional aesthetic as far as the storytelling goes. Because if you if you tried to do full motion video, the video of playback codecs were terrible back then. The compression artifacts were awful. So this at least gave you a sharper image. But there, there were some uh, Turbo Graphics games that included full motion video. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective game had full motion video, but of course it was on a tiny screen and look, it was apparently a terrible game. Whoops, sorry, because I thought it was supposed to be playing. You can also uh, double tap the A button to do a backward somersault. I'm supposed to lose this fight, aren't I? Ow. I got him. I'm being pushed backwards, by the way. Can't hit him. They can afford voice acting at this point. Yes, what's up? Let's go. So I can't play as Maria yet. Okay, typical Castlevania stuff. Oh, whoop. There is no there is no timer on this part of the game. Okay. So no timer here. You can hold up. To climb the stairs in midair, so that's good. You can also drop by holding down and pressing jump, so it'll drop you from the stairs. And like I said, you got—you can double tap the A button, or you can just press the wait, press the A button in the air. You have to you have to double tap it, okay? So you can do that backflip, which was an innovation for this particular Castlevania game. I don't think they ever reused it for any of the other Castlevania games. I don't even think the uh, Game Boy Advance games used it. I guess they figured it wasn't really that important. <laughs> yeah. Castlevania 2, uh, retread. Horrible night to have a curse. Like I said, always one of the best soundtracks of all time. <laughs> this game came out before Castlevania 3, right? I think it was in development before Castlevania 3. So I can understand why they went back to try and do Castlevania 2 again. You can see this game has more animation, has more frames of animation than your average Castlevania game, too. At least your average NES game. I mean, it's not, it's not as sophisticated as something like, uh, what was it? Super Castlevania 4, because that had bigger sprites. But the level design of that game was clearly based on the old games. But this game is more traditional obviously get up okay I should be able to backflip to get to those rocks over there those are breakable rocks okay double tap whoops 
I did it before. Just a second. It's a research stream anyway. Crap. You can see that the bell. You see that the uh, whip wielder actually has an animation when he takes a hit. Now he actually has a reaction to that. Can't whip these candles though. Oh, you can. You can. Excuse me. You don't have to power up your whip like in the other Castlevania games, so that's always cool. So you can only whip the candles that are lit. Ow. Can I get the one up there? No. Whoops! I pressed the select button. I should not have done that. Ought not have done that. Come here, you. Ow! Happy with that. Should I get a? Should I be getting an axe by now? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let me get my meat. So when did I play this? Yeah, I played it on the PSP. I know I played it then, which is how I got my hands on Maria, who's basically easy mode. Okay, how do I make this jump? Got it. Okay, so I can't stay on the edge of the platform. I have to say, like maybe a couple of steps away from the edge of the platform. Okay, three whips brings him down. Got it. That's it. I thought there was more here than that. Because I want to fall, which is the other problem. Now I guess I can just see what happens if I fall. Okay, so this thing is here. Oh, okay, I guess, I guess in the first, I guess in the PSP game, this led to like some kind of secret item or something. There you go. That was weird. That ah, wait. Pretty sure I saw you in Symphony of the Night. Ow! Bastard. Feed me. We done? Okay, so there's nothing here. What was that all about? Well, your double jump is a little bit higher than a regular jump for what that's worth. Oh! And the music just looped over again. <laughs> oh well. Old school. It's a it's a it's a regular CD soundtrack. So as soon as the song ends, you gotta re, gotta put it on repeat. You know how it is. Is this the alternate path? Yeah, here's the boss coming up. The music just changed. Yeah, they have Red Book music for the soundtrack, but whoops. Yeah, they got red book music for the stage set for the stage music, but once you get to this area right here before the boss, it changes to this crappy chiptune music. Which is okay otherwise, but I mean just saying. Yeah, take the boom that's a cross, not a boomerang, right? Got it. Yeah, I'll take those. Okay, I don't have any air. I don't have any air control. Figures really. Yep, no air control. Fine. I see tentacles. Thanks, Japan. Okay, he wants some. Yep, there's a boomerang. Ow! He has a totally different boss. He has a totally different boss. You didn't even get to see the, uh, the bull. Yeah, I remember this part. I'm gonna die here, unfortunately.
Yep, no area open. So I can reverse, I can change direction, but I can't move in midair, which is unfortunate. Yep, I'll take that. Alright, let's do this already. It's so much easier with Maria, let's be honest. I don't even know how to unlock her. Okay, hit him with that. Do I even have a double shot? Whoops. Should have ducked. Hey! Ow! Okay, that was stupid. He can't get a single hit on this dude. Can't get a single hit on. Ow! Can't get a single hit on him. Forgot to come back to this. How many lives do I have? You get no lives left. Let's see where the game dumps me once I lose all my lives. I don't even need that. I, mean, I guess I could try to use this instead of the boomerang. I figure the boomerang might be a bit more fun. Maybe those hearts give me that. Darn it. Nope, screw that up. I mean, there's a tiny bit of aerial control in that you can move a little bit. Yeah, you, there's a tiny bit of aerial During a neutral jump, you can move a little bit to the left or right during a neutral jump. Yeah, you, yeah so you do have a tiny bit of aerial control, but not a lot. And you can switch weapons. So that's cool. You have the ability to switch weapons if you want now. So you don't have, you don't have to commit to the weapon you, you grab. So that's a great upgrade over the first three games. Well, at least the first and third. Second one was never an issue. You could always switch weapons. The sub weapons are just sort of something to have, really. They serve specialized functions. Still can't hit them. Ow! Look out! So you gotta, you gotta use the back to get past that. I'm not doing any damage to him. Get a bit of damage there. I gotta hit him in the head. That's the other problem. Back, back, back. Okay, I made it out. So that's what the backflip's for in this case. Okay, let's see how badly I get thrown back to the beginning of the game. Like, where's my checkpoint? <laughs> garbage. Freaking garbage. Shame, really. Well, we'll move on to the next one. We'll be fine, I think.